Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to explore Azure Active Directory, which is now called as Microsoft Intra ID. First, we'll understand what Azure Directory actually is. Then we'll talk about some basic concepts like what is identity and what is an identity provider with real world example to make it easy to understand. And finally, we'll move into a hands on demo where I'll show you how to integrate Azure Active Directory authentication with React application step by step. So without wasting any time, let's get started to understand what is Azure Active Directory. So now let's first understand what Azure Active Directory is. So basically Azure Active Directory, which is now rebranded as Microsoft Intra AD, is a cloud-based identity and access management service by Microsoft. It helps developer and organizations securely sign in users, manage identities and control access to the applications, APIs and cloud resources. That's a basic definition of what Azure Active Directory or Intra ID is. But before we dive deeper, let's first try to understand one of the most important concept that is identity. In digital system, an identity refers to the unique information that defines who a user is. Think of it's like your digital fingerprint. A set of attributes such as username, email, phone number, or employee ID that proves your exist in the system. So let's understand this with very simple example. So imagine you are logging into Instagram. When you enter your email ID or phone number along with password, that combination become your identity in the Instagram system. For example, if I log in with am I at gmail.com, that email address represents my identity in the Instagram. Similarly, at your workplace, your company email address acts as your identity within the organization. So in simple term, identity is nothing but who you are in the digital system. So now that we know what identity means, so let's talk about something equally important that is identity provider. So what exactly is an identity provider? An identity provider is a service that creates, store and manages digital identities and provides authentication services so that user can securely access application and system. So let's understand this with very simple example. In traditional client and server model, the client make a request to the server and the server needs to know who the client is before allowing access to data or the APIs. So this is where identity providers comes in. In our case, we use Azure Active Directory or Intra ID as an identity provider. So now let's understand how it works. The client first sends a login request to the Azure AD with username and password. Then Azure AD validates those credentials. And if the credentials are correct, then Azure AD returns a token back to the client. Now, what is token? A token is basically a secure unique identifier that replaces sensitive information like password. It's a way of saying, yes, this user is verified. Then the client uses those token for all the further requests to the server. And then the server, when it receives the request with token, it verifies the token with Azure AD to ensure it's valid. And once the token is validated, the server allows access to send back the final response, for example, confirming that the login is successful. And the best part, this all happens very quickly, almost instantly. In the modern web application, we don't need to manually build these complex flows from scratch. SDKs and libraries are available which make integration or integrating an identity provider like Azure AD into your application is very smooth. So in simple term, an identity provider is a trusted authority that verifies your identity and issues tokens. So your application don't need to handle sensitive login details directly. So let's try to understand this again with some other examples. Suppose you have multiple services in Azure. For example, you created virtual machines, SQL database and web app. Now when, you, when a client first connect to Azure AD, and successfully logs in, it receives a token. With that token, the client doesn't need to log in separately to each service. Instead, the client simply present the same token to these services, whether it's a virtual machine, the SQL database, or the web app. Each service checks the Azure AD to validate the token and confirms that the user's identity is correct or not. 
If the token is valid, then the service returns a positive response saying, yes, this user is authenticated and authorized. Then the client can communicate with those services securely. So the key point here is that Azure AD acts as the single identity provider across all the services. You don't need to maintain separately username and password for every service. Instead, the token from Azure AD is enough to access multiple resources with within Azure. So now that we have understood what Azure Active Directory is and how identity and identity providers work behind the scenes, it's time to move into a demonstration. For this demo, I have created a simple React application where I have already installed the required SDKs to the work with Azure AD. Here what we will do step by step. First, we'll go to the Azure portal and create new app registration under Microsoft Intra ID. Once the app is registered, we will get a client ID and tenant ID from Azure. Then we will integrate those values inside React application and finally we'll test the login flow to see how authentication with Azure Active Directory works behind the scenes. So let's jump into a VS Code to quickly review the React app setup and then we will hand over to the Azure portal to register our first app and connect everything together. So let's get started with demo. So in our uh, React app, I have used this Microsoft authentication library for React in that I have used this MSAL React. So this is the reference. So I, in that I have created this config file where we have to add this client ID. Once we register the uh, uh, our application, then the client ID will be getting generated along with the tenant ID and the redirect URI that is localhost 3000. So once you, you can see on the locally once the app is running then it will be the ui will look like this as your intra id authentication demo once we click on this login with microsoft it will be navigating to this uh, authentication page where we have to fill the username and password and once the app is registered and we have added the tenant id and the uh, app registration id then it will be validating and then we receive the token so currently we have not registered any app so it's showing that the error but now Let's go to the Azure portal and create our or register the first app. So in that, once you log into the Azure portal, then you will be navigating to this landing page or the dashboard of Microsoft Azure, where you can uh, you can search this Microsoft Intra ID. If the this service is not on the dashboard, then you can simply go in the global search and do or search this Microsoft Intra ID. So so once you click on this Microsoft Intra ID, then you will be navigating to this default directory page where you can see all the details. So in that we have to do the app registration. So on the side menu, if you scroll down, here is the menu that app registration. So once you click on the app registration, you will be navigating again to the app registration page where we have to create or register the new app. So let's click on this plus new registration button and then you will be navigating to this registration and application page where we have to add the or we have to give the name of the app so we'll add ta demo or we'll give in this t a demo app like this then on the and this uh in that in the on the supported account type we'll use this first one so account in the organization directory only default directory only single tenant in the redirect uri we'll use the platform that is single page application and the url that we want that is localhost 3000 and we'll simply click on the register once we click on the registration it is creating the application and you can see on the right corner the app successfully created the application ta demo app and once we create it then we will be navigating to this ta demo app registration page where you can see the display name that is our app name and the client id or the application id and the tenant id which we required in the application but before that we have to again enable the tokens so for that we have to again go to this authentication and in that we just simply allow this checkboxes access tokens and id tokens and then simply click on the save now the setting is saved again go to the overview and let's copy the client id or the application id and, and go to the vs code and then let's just replace the client id can go to the portal and copy the tenant id and then just replace the tenant id over here and then let's save this go to the 
login page just reload one more time when in the inspect mode so to see how the api request goes let's clear everything and let's click on this login with microsoft button so once we click on then you can see it asks it it takes my email id def by default that is am at agniotri at yahoo.com and it asks for the request permission so i'll click on the accept and you can see authentication is done and you can see and you can see welcome ame dot agniotri at gmail.com is printed and you can see this request and in that request we make the api call that is login with microsoft we say in the payload and in the response we get the access token client information the refresh token and everything so we can use these tokens and we do this authorization part for our application so in this way this azure intro id so that's all about today's video this is how azure intro id or azure active directory authentication works behind the scenes i hope you have a clear understanding of how this authentication flows works and how you can easily set up in your applications all you really need to do is register an app on azure portal copy the client id and tenant id and integrate them with your application using microsoft authentication sdks it's actually very simple once you go through the all those steps a quick recap what we covered in this video so far we started by understanding what azure active directory or intro id is then we learn what identity is and what is an identity provider with real world examples then next we discuss how this authentication process work behind the scenes and finally we move into a hands-on demo where we install the microsoft authentication libraries in react app register the app in azure portal and successfully log in using intro id i hope this video helped you to understand the concept and implementation of microsoft authentication if you found this video very helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe to support the channel if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out as i always say keep learning happy coding and i'll see you in the next one until then have a great 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 day